Hey everyone, it's uh, Sunday, November 26, 2017. Um, I live in Tampa, Florida. It's uh, Zone 9B. So uh, today I want to share uh, with you the yielding of my turmeric. Um, as you can see here, this is was one. Uh, this is my crop of just one bed, and. Uh, Basically, that's another bed right here. But basically, when you see this yellow, um, that means they're gonna start to die. Uh, basically, this plant will survive in degrees 80s and above. Uh, it's been almost like two weeks since we started to get the 70s and at night about 50s. And um, basically, um, if you wanna grow this, if you don't live in a zone which does not have more than uh, 80 degrees please do not try it unless you have one of those covered um, greenhouses so um, basically what you do if you want to regrow those is uh, you could get them from the um, your store if you want to buy some uh, roots from me just email me I will be happy to give you a price um, but uh, they're not that really expensive maybe about 70 bucks a pound or something like that but uh, there are two main varieties there is the orange one which is the most kind of like mild one and there's kind of like the goldish one which is kind of more close to the ginger uh, flavor uh, a little bit more spicy so uh, but basically what you do this is how you how you find them in the stores so basically it might it could be a little bit bigger uh, maybe something like that here I'm just gonna knock one off this is the size that you find in the stores okay it might be a little bit bigger like this but this is the, the ones that you type find in the stores so uh, basically what you do is you just bury this about two inches in the soil and uh, you want to wait like maybe around uh, here in Tampa you could grow this around I would say March April after the last um, 50s uh, warning and uh, they will take about maybe two months to start to bud but as you can see here this is like one bud okay and uh, uh, basically they will form all these huge plants so basically this is was one plant this was one plant right here Okay, so it depends. It depends also a lot on your soil. Um, it uh, loves manure, loves a lot of water, loves a lot of sun, loves also heat. But it's uh, one of the easiest uh, things that you can grow over here in Florida. It does not require uh, any some sort of uh, pruning or any other special uh, care or something like that. You can just like uh, put those rismos and forget about them and uh, as far as yielding uh, basically I left some here in the soil in this bed that I just yielded uh, right here I just yielded most of them uh, I left some so this way I do not have to re-grow uh, uh, them again when spring comes uh, I'm not gonna yield this this is too much to use but again even if the uh, the leaves um, yellowed and died they're still gonna be um, um, uh, the resin is fine even though the temperature will um, will go down uh, nothing's really gonna happen to them uh, basically I could yield them at any time I want all right so uh, please um, if you like this video uh, press the like button if you don't like it you know what to do and um, you could uh, subscribe or also go to our Facebook and um, see other hints about gardening in Florida. All right, take care.